Man, this stinks. The restroom is permanently out of order and I cannot even wash my hands there. I know what I shall do. Since the restroom is permanently out of order, I'm going to wash my hands in the water fountain. Oh my god! Mason Taylor, how dare you wash your hands in the water fountain? You know that people would have gotten sick or killed if they were able to drink that fountain. That is so it. Since you need to be disciplined, I am going to spank and beat you. Uh oh. You don't ever wash your hands in the water fountain Mason. Do you hear me and do you understand me you disgusting pervert? You would have gotten people sick and killed if they were able to drink out of that fountain. That is so it. Your ass is going straight to the richest girl's office right now. Why hello there Mrs. Clementine. Why are you here in our office today? Well, when I was walking to use the restroom, I saw Mason washing his hands in the water fountain. This made me so furious that I spanked him and beat him up for what he did. What the hell Mason? How dare you wash your hands in the water fountain? You know that people would have gotten sick or even killed if they were able to drink into that filthy fountain. That is so it. As of today, you are hereby expelled from this school, permanently. Go home right now. Crystal and I will be calling your parents and your sister about this situation. Mrs. Sonia Heights Man Clementine, you aren't off the hook either. We do not ever put on our hands on other students or anyone else. We understand that you wanted to discipline Mason for his actions and for what he did, but violence like this is never the answer under any foreseen circumstances. That is so it. We are done with you for good, and we have no other choice than to fire you from the Cheer Meet Molly Girls and the Family Gang Mates School for good. What? No. Both of you can't do that. I didn't mean to spank Mason. I was really furious with him about what he did. Please give me another chance. I promise I won't do any of this crap any further and I promise I will not put on my hands on anyone else ever again. Trust me. I'll do anything to make up but please don't fire me. We're sorry, but you should have thought about that before you decided to go all crazy and spank Mason for what he did and then become a fully entitled Karen to other students. Get out of our sights and get out of this school right now before Crystal and I call the police on you. God freaking damn it. Mason I can't believe you washed your hands in the water fountain at school, and that you even got expelled permanently for it. You would have gotten a lot of people in school sick or killed if they were able to drink out of that water fountain. Thanks to you, nobody will ever use the water fountain at school until your germs get cleaned up. Mason Alexander Theodore Taylor we hope that you are happy. What do you have to say for yourself for all of this young man? Um, I didn't mean to spread germs in the water fountain. I was just mad that the restroom is permanently out of order and I did not get my hands washed at the sink. Well, that is not an excuse for washing your hands in the water fountain. Do you not even care if the people would have gotten sick or killed if they were able to drink out of that filthy water fountain? Mason, for washing your hands in the water fountain and for giving the students and your friends a taste of your own medicine, you are grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now and think about what you did to the water fountain at school. 